Who is one of the OG neo soul guitar players? Not just jazz or rock or blues, but one of the first guitar players to truly sound like the neo soul guitarist we hear today. I say it's Paul Jackson Jr., the famous studio guitarist who's performed and recorded with Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, El. What's that? Just stop. Don't name names for the next three minutes. All right, cool. Aside from his impressive resume, the soulful approach to his guitar work goes beyond a traditional jazz, rock, or soul style. He combines these elements to bring out what we hear as neo soul guitar. And it's these little tricks that every neo soul guitar player uses to make their solo sound smooth and tasteful. One of his most famous recorded solos is on his cover of Luther Vandross's Never Too Much, an upbeat, grooving song in the key of E minor. This recording may be a little bit more in the lane of smooth jazz as opposed to neo-soul, but his guitar solo is pure neo-soul. So let's vibe on five tricks he uses in this solo that every neo-soul guitar player uses. For each example, I'm going to take licks from this solo, but play them over a neo-soul style track in the key of B minor. And you can find the link to the jam track and the tab for this lesson in the description below. Number one, play the blues scale. But don't just play the blues scale, play blues licks. And break the pentatonic pattern up into these three octaves so your phrases can remain consistent. Number two is the soul note. We think of the blue note, that flat five in the pentatonic as a creation of the blues scale, but we can add this note a half step above the root and call it the soul scale. Just like the blue note, use it as a grace note to add a bit of soulfulness to your phrase. I talk more about soul notes and have some licks in my Neil Soul guitar book. You could vibe on that right there. Now, number three is playing an arpeggio. If you play a few bars going up or down a certain scale and then open it up with an arpeggio, it has a dope effect. Now, we can start with a basic E minor arpeggio, which is the four of B minor, and it works right over it just like this. Number four is playing some jazzy harmonic minor. Harmonic minor is the minor scale with the raised seventh degree. And when it's peppered in just slightly, it gives a cool edge to your playing, especially in contrast to some basic blues and pentatonic licks. Number five is really quite simple. Play up the scale two notes at a time. This gives a little extra focus on the groove of the notes and extends the tension of the scale going up. Get out of the rut of playing the same phrases and licks and use these five tricks to add variety to your solo and give it some tasty neo soul vibes. If you want some help on techniques to learning new licks and making them your own, check out this video right here. Keep jamming and stay nasty.